Right then, Ebers. Yep. Lift the <laughs> clutch on product number one. It's a little mini rice cooker, but apparently we'll also do porridge. Ooh. Ebers, this is the Lakeland Mini Electric Rice Cooker. It cooks one to two portions of white or brown rice in 30 minutes. It has a lift out non-stick 500 milliliter pan and is easy to use with its LED panel. Now, obviously, a rice cooker isn't a brand new gadget that no one's ever heard of before. Mm -hmm. Rice cookers are a permanent fixture mm -hmm. in so many different parts of the world. We've never really seen the need to have a rice cooker in the kitchen because we don't cook rice nope. that often or in quantities enough to warrant having one. And it takes up so much space on a work surface. However, this is a nice mini one and would therefore sit on a worktop. So what we want to put to the test is, is this worth it for us? Nah, like we can cook rice a number of different ways, whether it's sushi with a lid, whether it's pilaf style, whether it's boiled in excess water and poured off. If that is easier for you to get rice at home, it's fine. I never cook enough rice to warrant a rice cooker. This has piqued my interest. Ooh, peaky. There's only one way to find out. Should we make some rice? Let's do it. One cup of rice to two cups of water, approximately 30 minutes of cooking time. However, there is a countdown timer that will give you the countdown of the last six minutes, which I presume is all you need to do is do a quick stir fry to go with it. This is uh, back to premium ingredients. Some things are worth spending a bit of money on. That's the thing, Ebbers, you're right about rice. It is a very cheap commodity that we've, after our extensive testing, have realised is something that you should spend more money on. Mm. Mm. Still, relatively cheap compared to a lot of other ingredients. Yeah. And at the moment, a lot of people are looking for ways to save money in all areas of their lives. Mm -hmm. Food is one way that we can help people do that. Rice is a great, cheap ingredient. Buy the best that you can afford. One thing I absolutely would say that a rice cooker has going for it is it should be very insulated and it should need a very little amount of power to cook a small amount of rice. Rice washed, going in. One cup, 135 grams, ample for two. Two cups of water, nothing else. No. No seasoning, no. 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 Place the cooking pot onto the main unit, place the rice cooker lid on top, and close the locking clips. That I have done. Press the power stroke warm button, and yep. the appliance will go into standby function. Correct. Press the rice button, and the appliance will beep once. The rice indicator light, oh, oh. the rice indicator light will light up. We're good. And blank square will display on the display panel. Correct. The blank square indicator lights will snake in a clockwise direction to indicate cooking has begun. Like a Nokia 3310. <laughs> right. 29 and a half minutes to go. Fab. It cooked for 30 and it's been hot holding for 17. Lovely. Should we have a look? I hope I don't steam my... Ooh. Oh. The beauty of basmati is you have these wonderful, long, individual grains. Are they, is it clumping together? Very well cooked. Oh, oh my. That's pretty good. A little soft. You'd have to be careful as you served it so that you don't break up too many of those grains. A bit wetter on the bottom. It's more sticky and bouncy. Did you say it's done it well? I don't regularly eat rice out of a rice cooker, so if that's what it's supposed to be, that's fine. I don't think that's great. Like, at the bottom, it's all mushy and overcooked. The top grains were lovely and perfect. So obviously we always try to give everything a fair test. So before you had the chance to play with it, uh, the food team had to play with it as well. They've put together an incredible looking crispy beef dish from our Big Night In recipe pack. They used the rice cooker. It came out perfectly. The only difference being that it's salt in at the beginning of the cooking process. The top half, I thought, were individual lovely grains. and the bottom, they're all stuck together. But in hindsight, so are these. Personally, I look at that and I go, that looks like pretty damn good rice to me. Yeah. And, I've always, and I'm comparing that to packet rice, so that's exceptional. As a normal, I don't get that kind of rice from cooking it in a pan. As a chef, how would you cook rice? So I would do exactly that. I would quickly wash and rinse. Not always, if I'm being really lazy, but usually a quick rinse, and then two to one. Bring it up, cover it with the lid, cook it, take it off, residual. It cooks quicker than 30 minutes and you have complete control over it and it works every single time. What I like about it is the fact you measure it out and then you just let it do its thing. It's a lot more hands-off than my method. I wouldn't say it's any better, but it's certainly 
one of the best examples we've ever done for small volumes. Should we talk about price? How much do you think the mini rice cooker is? £32. It's £39.99. Fine, do you know what? Around Black Friday, you'd probably get it for 32 quid. Do I dare ask for your rating and review? By far the most practical, functional and useful rice cooker, but if you want an alternative, come to Uncle Ben. Three and a half stars. I hope you've got one to make him happy. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ever's lifter? Oh. <laughs> oh. From behind, before I turn it around, I can see water vat that I imagine will drip feed into something that in normal circumstances would give me coffee. What have you got? Aqua Optima. Okay, this does exactly what I thought it did, except any temperature I want will be vended from this machine. Ebbers, this is the Aurora Instant Hot and Cold Water Dispenser. An all-in-one device that will eliminate the need for a kettle. It's a water heater, cooler, water filter jug, all-in-one device. With a total of 49 different temperatures and volume options from chilled to cooked and from one cup to a litre, you're just a whiff away from the perfect beverage. Well, I have to be honest, that's how I like my water, cooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those really posh fancy taps that dispenses yeah. boiling hot water or freezing cold water that look really cool but no one can ever really afford or install. This was like a smarter version of that. Yeah, this becomes a desktop or worktop plug and play, i.e. you don't have to have something like that installed, which is very expensive, but it has got multiple temperatures, multiple dispensing volumes. And it supposedly filters the water as well. That I do need, because where I live, I have very, very lime scaly water. Feeling thirsty? Yes, what have we got? So to test the boiling hot water function, let's make a cup of tea. Specifically, masala chai, it is in a bag. I think the thing I like about this as well is that you can make just one cup of tea. It claims it's a lot more energy efficient than boiling a whole kettle. So specifically this, one cup, five minutes of brew time, does recommend freshly boiled water of 100 degrees. So we're going boiling, boiling first. A bit higher. <laughs> I was worried about boiling water splashback. I was instantly corrected. So select the temperature on the left hand side and then choose how much water you want on the right, then push go. We're up to boiling. I can see steam. That's instant hot water. Well, let's see. Oh, wait, oh, he's got a thermometer. Why would you whip he's out? got a thermometer. It's registering 96 degrees. I'm happy that was probably boiling before it came out. 200 millilitres of boiling water. Now, it's for that reason that I've actually bought a very similar machine to this for my nan, because she's got quite bad arthritis. She struggles to lift up the kettle to pour out a cup of tea, mm -hmm. whereas just one single cup at a time and she lives on her own, that made a lot of sense. We've spoken recently about energy use. Mm -hmm. Boiling an entire kettle just for a cup is something that far too many people, probably myself included, are guilty of. Let's see how cold it goes. A refreshing cordial, please, yep. us. Apple and blackberry, jolly and fresh, low sugar. It says mix it with gin. <laughs> gin is an option, just saying. I'll call you eight parts gin. <laughs> <laughs> this is our chance to test how cold it goes. It doesn't claim ice cold, just cold. Oh. Each time it unlocks, quick, get in, get in there. How cold are we going? Oh, it's very cold. Uh, straight away, it's filtered water and you're limiting how much water you use. You're not leaving the tap on in the background as well, so you're reducing your water wastage. Okay. Water in here is room temperature, 23 and a half degrees today. What came out when we pushed the cold button, eight and a half degrees. Mmm, lovely. Okay, good. Now to test it for a more specific temperature, let's move on to some oolong. Well, this is like Goldilocks. Too hot. Too, Too cold. cold. Ah, <laughs> oolong. Right. And what temperature is this asking for it to brew at? Exactly 80 degrees. Whoa. I'm going to vend. No, 80. Where are we at? Punching a bit of above its weight at 85, 82. Oh, oh. I mean, come on, mate, that's looking good. 81. Whoa. So going from cold, it took a while to work it out, but it got to 81 degrees for the last bit. Now, to be fair to it, 84 degrees by the time it's fallen down to here is probably about 81. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's pretty damn good. Again, bang on the measurement. Baz, what is this replacing in your kitchen or is this an additional piece of equipment? I think it's, for me, this is replacing the kettle. Okay. But at the same time, if you can get cold water from it and it controls the amount of water that you're using and the energy, it kind of makes sense. But that's not replacing my kettle unless it's going to decant like a litre when I need it. Mm -hmm. Like to fill a pan of boiling water or in this case, you give me green stuff. You want you to wilt that down with a litre of boiling hot water and then blitz it with your almonds and parmesan. You can fill it up without removing the lid and it's got a no splash feature. I'm intrigued. So here, if you're boiling a kettle, how long does a kettle take to boil? Two to three minutes to boil and then five seconds to decant. You know, max temperature, max amount of water. And exactly like a kettle, you can just push it and leave it to do its thing. I've got no idea where that was a litre because I wasn't measuring it. However, given how accurate it was on those three, I'm prepared to give it the benefit of the doubt. That's literally job done. You just want to wilt the greens and then we'll drain it and then blend it. So this dish is actually from our Psychic app, which is our own bit of kitchen tech. Yeah, you just pick your week's meals, you plan which day you're gonna have them on, and then Psychic will generate a really simple shopping list of ingredients and make sure that you use up every single fresh ingredient by the end of the week. You'll improve your cooking skills, save on your food bills, and never have a boring meal again. Plus, now's a really great time to give it a go or gift it, because it's 40% off. Tell you what, boys, if it's got recipes like this in it, I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've tested this pretty fairly today. How are you feeling about it? I don't need this in my life until you use it. And you go, hang on a minute, this is more efficient on water, because you are only heating up what you need having been filtered and you're only dispensing what you need. That bit is smart. So shall we talk money? Oh. Your last kettle's just died. You're thinking this might be a good investment. In my current setup, I absolutely don't need it, but there will come a point when you go to seek a new kettle and that might be the time to think this will replace a couple of things, a Brita filter, a kettle. It feels well engineered. If it's a smart kettle, 70 or 80 quid. If we're putting it in the alternative to a coffee machine in your kitchen because it's dispensing tea at just the right volume and temperature, then it's probably higher. I wouldn't pay more than 100, and they, even then I'd have to think about it. This comes in at 149.99. I very rarely have tea. I have coffee and I have a coffee machine, which is about this size, sits in the kitchen and costs more than that. However, as a nation of tea drinkers, maybe there is a place for it. It does everything. Mm. Sure. And it does it well. Does it well? Sure. Mm. I don't need one. I'll tell you what, on Black Friday, if they're 30% off, I'll give it 100 quid, I'll have it. Okay, Ebers, what's your rating and what's the review you're leaving? If you live alone, this might be for you. I do, it's not. Three stars. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you wanted me to make a lovely pot, but the... <laughs> I'm, I am done. This is a terrible attempt at the word ebbers. Mary was done a while ago, so it might peel off as one. Well. I've tried to write happy birthday on cakes before. It's gone terribly wrong. What, with like ice piped ice? Yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah. kind of, it's a weird trap, but that seems a little bit easier to work with. If anything, I would say it's harder because it's slower. If you've got right, a pipe okay. with chocolate, you can get a flow to it that just does that. This, you've got to, and occasionally it needs to catch up with its belt and it sticks out a big bit and then a small bit. But once it's set, you could, whatever you've designed, stand up and you have the light glowing through it. I think that's quite cool. Ebers is still a bit sticky, but <laughs> it does what I would expect of ice malt. It melts, it sets really hard, it gives you that snap. It's pretty firm, especially if you made it more structured in its design. And it does taste strawberry. Yeah. Mm. I, I, do you know what? I genuinely think, like with anything, it needs a bit of practice. And we actually had a bit of fun with that. And imagine the things you could draw in sugar. I think you could write messages on cakes that are very personal. I think you could start to even think about like stained glass cookies, stained mm -hmm. glass things around the festive time. I think you could do an awful lot with it. And once you've started, yes, you can do lettering and stand it up, but you could start to layer it now. So if you wanted to go higher and higher and higher in the wet, same way a 3D machine, mm -hmm. 3D printing machine. But I think you could be quite creative with it. What are you thinking when it comes to price, then, Ebers? It does say it is for the age of 14 and up. I mean, molten sugar, that does make sense. I feel like it would entertain for a while. I think if you're an artist or cake decorating or have an artistic flair, I think you can create some fun stuff with this. The brand isn't a cheap brand, so I imagine this is probably 48 pounds, a pound for each stick, and this comes free. Ooh, 49.99. Are you ready for your review and rating? With an artistic flair, this absolutely would work, but ironically, I think kind of pointless for a pen. But I will give it four stars. What? 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 <laughs> if it's reduced in price on Black Friday, don't pay for £89.99 for it. So, whilst everyone is deep into their Black Friday discounts, including us, we thought now is a really good time to showcase more ways that you can save money. So on Friday, 25th November, that's Black Friday, we're going to be live streaming to bring you Hack Friday. It rhymes. Yep, I'll be on hand to give you a whole bunch of chefy tips to speed things up, save you money and get you more delicious food on the table. And our food team will be here, not just to answer your foodie questions, but also to put loads of stuff to the test in real time. Cheers, boys. Average number of stars today. I think you guys can do better. Comment down below with any other food, gadgets, or tech that we should review, and we'll get to it. We start off too high. Yeah, this is exactly what it was.